Hi. And welcome to our Australian Open highlights. We'll comment on the form and game of Djokovic against Quackot and a relentless Andy Murray. Novak Djokovic has qualified for the third round of the Australian Open. The 35-year-old Serbian suffered his first set loss of this tournament against Enzo Kuakot, but then did not get into trouble again and finished it in four sets, 6-1, 6-7, A disturbance from the stands was remarkable. A few jokers dressed as Waldo tried to break Djokovic's concentration. For a moment, that seemed to work. After Djokovic's insistence to the umpire, the couple was removed. Both Djokovic and Kouakot had to deal with pains in the match. The 27-year-old Frenchman sprained his ankle in the first set and had to let the physiotherapist enter the track. With a taped ankle, Kouakot did not move very smoothly and he did not win a game in the first set. After the break between two sets, however, the number 191 in the world came out a lot stronger against Djokovic, the current number 5. No breaks in set 2. Nine-time tournament winner Djokovic had a more difficult time and he too needed a medical timeout. Djokovic had problems with his left leg. Despite the physical discomfort, both players did not give in their service once in the second set. That happened in the tiebreak. Kuakod pulled the longest straw and tied the score in sets. Djokovic then shifted up a gear and thundered over the Frenchman in sets 3 and 4. As the match came to a close, the crowd the rose to their feet, Open. giving the two players a standing ovation. It was a match that will go down in the history books, and one that left everyone wondering, where's Waldo in Australia? Andy Murray has once again shown himself to be a marathon man at the Australian Open. The 35-year-old Scott reached the third round by beating Australian Thanasi Kakanakis in a five-set match of 5 hours and 45 minutes. The Melbourne clock pointed to 4.06 in the early morning as the exhausted Murray took congratulations from the wrecked Kakanakis, in front of several hundred remaining spectators. Again, Two days ago, Murray was also on track for almost five hours on the first lap. Then the number 66 in the world surprisingly won after a five-setter against the 13th-seeded Italian Matteo Berrettini. The Scot seemed to be written off for top tennis a few years ago after a lingering hip injury, but the audience was once again on the benches in Melbourne. He had already dropped seven break points in the fifth set before breaking Kokonakis in the 11th game. The Scot himself did not give away a break point. For Murray, who plays with an artificial hip, it was the longest game of his career. I have no idea how I got through this game. I have a big heart, said Murray. It's ridiculously late, I want to thank the spectators for staying. Let's all go to bed now. Well, that is all for today. If you like these fast reports, hit the like button. This way we know you want more of this. Thank you and see you soon.